Welcome to Terribly Accurate and to the month of March. In this video, we are going to look at the overall vibe for the month. Will you find your pot of gold? Are you gonna get lucky in love? Where do you need to push your luck to get ahead? What rain will be hitting your life what will the rainbow after be? And then if you stick around all the way to the end of the video, you will find out what is your crystal of the month and what is it good for? How's it gonna help you? As well as figuring out how you can get a free reading from me. This video is for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, but not Venus. Unless you are spying on somebody else's um, love forecast, for example, then it's for their Venus. But this video right here is going to show you how to get the most out of these videos that I make or that anybody else makes for taroscopes, horoscopes, whatever, or even ones that you would read online. And one more thing, there are links below to connect you to the taroscopes that I've been making online for all zodiac signs. And now let's get started. Aquarius. What is your overall vibe for the month? You might be hormonal, you might be emotionally just a little bit messed up, feeling kind of sad, you don't really have a grip, or you know maybe the things that you're getting super emotional about um, aren't things that you usually would. Other people might not get you, but the good news is that you are kind of like open and optimistic and childlike and excited about things that are going to come for you and so that's positive um i think what's going on here is there's like a lot of mixed energies there's a lot of stuff that is just like kind of temporary and it might have to do with astrology and the mercury retrograde where it's like oh look, i'm really fucked up and then you're like hey i'm super happy um and i think part of that being you know like all of this is going down in a pisces time period which is very back forth back forth back forth maybe some of you watching this are at like an aquarius pisces cusp too so anyway um nothing lasts forever so if you're feeling kind of weird don't worry about it it is going to change um and try to focus more on that positive optimistic energy when you have it like think about what puts a literal feather in your cap like this little guy what makes you happy and excited about moving forward and just focus on that stuff instead of the stuff that's getting you a little bit messed okay so um will you find your pot of gold this month what's up with your finances things are going to be balanced there's some um, good opportunity coming up from behind you that you can't really see yet but i think you're making good choices as far as your money goes and that will continue okay your um day-to-day -day kind of balancing of things is spot on you're doing good okay so will you get lucky in love if you're single they're like mm, you might be meeting people that you're not like feeling a lot for and that's okay you know whatever um don't let that drive you crazy because it doesn't mean that you're not gonna ever meet somebody that you feel something for it's just like this month eh, everybody's kind of boring um they're saying so the problem is that this might make you focus on what you don't want and to shift that into trying to manifest what you do want into your life there's a worksheet in the description box below that'll totally help you figure this out and get you back on the right track to start attracting what you do want okay now if you're already in a relationship what they're saying is um you're more open to noticing when your partner is showing you love even if you speak different love languages so it's like hey I am receptive and I am grateful and thankful for you know the love or opportunity or the caring and the kindness that you show me. That's fantastic. Um, unfortunately, they're not gonna be giving you any sort of gifts necessarily, but it looks like your partner will be like maybe giving you some back rubs or like trying to help you fold laundry or whatever it is. So, I mean, take the win. <laughs> um, anything else about your love life, they're just like, you know, many of you have like kind of committed to a lifelong partnership with this person, but for some of you, like it didn't turn out to be as happy as you wanted. And if that's you, what they're saying is like, you've already decided you're not going anywhere. So like, I mean, I guess you get what you paid for, right? Um, just because you commit to something doesn't mean you can't change your mind later. If we were committed to all of the things that we said we were committed to, like when we were five, like, could you imagine what your life would be like? I would be married to Axl Rose right now because that was like a big life goal and that would have been a fucking nightmare. So what I'm saying is, yes, we should take our vows. Um, we should take our commitments super seriously. But like just because we've committed to something, like doesn't mean we shouldn't leave it if we don't like it, if it sucks. OK, so there's that. 
If you're in an on again, off again relationship, or maybe it's just starting something that's sort of complicated, you don't know what to call it, they're like, watch out for um, sneakiness or lies, deception in regards to um, like somebody's financial situation. So, hey, uh, you know, um, can you get the movie tickets this weekend and I'll pay you back? It's bullshit. They're never gonna pay you back. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I totally make like six billion dollars a year. They're just saying that to sleep with you. You know, it, it's stuff about that. Um, so anyway, they're saying, you know, and some of this stuff might not even be things that they're saying to you. It's something that you're assuming about them and it's not quite right or they're trying to paint a certain picture. So for example, you go on a date with somebody and they pull up in a Maserati, um, but they rented it to impress you. Um, and they really drive like a 1991 Honda Civic with like a lot of rust and it's like missing a door. So there's that. Um, where in your life should you be pushing your luck to sort of attract what it is that you want? Like what are you manifesting and then what kind of steps to co-create that do you need to take in the month of March? And what they're saying here is you know, you might not have decided what it is that you really, really want, but you know what you don't want. So again, I'm gonna direct you to that worksheet in the description box below. Um, what kind of rain will be occurring for you? Like what kind of things should you be warned about? And they just say, you know, trust your intuition. It's gonna guide you to what it is that you want for the longer term. What is it, you need to be thinking about your long-term goals. What is it that you desire? What is it that you should be committed to daily in order to get what you desire, what it is that you want, and just stay focused on that big end result. And then the little steps along the way, those can be malleable and change, but you have to stay really, really focused on that end goal. Is there anything that you need to know as far as the rainbow at the end? You know, what are the positive things that are coming? And they're just like, look, this imbalance that you feel emotionally, if you have the time to take some rest, to take a nap, just to get through it, because like I said, it's gonna be one of those things that shifts really quickly. It's probably just astrology. Take advantage of that. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. And I will see you next month. Citrine. Citrine is associated with the solar plexus chakra, the yellow one, right where your stomach is. Citrine crystals are safe to run under cold water, to soak in salt water, to cleanse or clear with incense, as well as to recharge in the sunlight or moonlight. The angels associated with citrine are Archangel Gabriel, Ariel, as well as Uriel. Citrine comes in various forms. You might see it raw, you might see it polished, and you might see it in a cluster formation. Some citrines are actually amethysts that are heat treated by humans. However, this doesn't seem for most people to have an effect as far as the usefulness of the stone in any crystal grid or healing properties that it does have. So some people are crystal snobs and that's not a judgment whether you are or you are not. However, the lighter colored citrines are often the ones that are not heat treated and are more natural than the darker colored ones. The uses of citrine are often associated with anxiety reduction because they help to increase our self-esteem and it help and citrine is used to help express invid express individuality. Citrine is also well known for attracting wealth, prosperity, and abundance. Whether it actually attracts wealth, prosperity, and abundance like a pyrite would, or whether it's just shifting your own mindset and your ability to attract that wealth doesn't really matter. It works either way. Citrine helps to protect against negative thinking, and it provides protection for us in general. Citrine is used to support sensitive and vulnerable people. It increases joy and it stimulates the desire for change and new experiences. Citrine is excellent for soothing family troubles or group disagreements, and it serves as an antidepressant. 
Citrine inspires more extroversion. Citrine helps to purify the aura and it takes all of the dark, empty spaces and it fills them up with light. That might also be why it helps to attract more wealth, prosperity, and abundance. Citrine stimulates the brain and it reinforces the intellectual gifts that you already have. It increases your ability to problem solve as well. Citrine is excellent to increase your levels of creativity and to inspire new ideas. Citrine generally stimulates your digestion and it supports your digestive organs and it relieves bladder infections as well. It reinforces your nerve tissues, making them a little bit stronger, and it can actually help to dissolve cellulite. Therefore, citrine is an excellent stone to just set on your booty while you're laying down reading a book. It might be something that you wanna put underneath your mattress where your trouble zones are. Citrine will help to relieve constipation and it creates physical warmth within the body as well. So overall, citrine is an excellent stone to sort of reduce our belly fat in ways that we haven't thought of previously. It's not really well known as a weight loss stone, but because it will relieve constipation and therefore make your abdomen look smaller and dissolve your cellulite, heck yeah, let's use this in order to get the body that we truly desire. Although this crystal comes in many forms, this month it's recommended that you use it in cluster form. Mm -hmm.